Welcome back, everybody. We've been talking about the, this year's Super Bowl ads and their TV's most expensive advertisements. And this year, it was all about the warm and fuzzy. The folks at USA Today created the Super Bowl ad meter to track consumers' opinions about these pricey spots. Joining us now live from New York City is, with more is USA Today New York De Deputy Chief Laura Petrucca with more. Good morning, Laura. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Hi, good morning to you too. All right, Laura, let's get it right out of the way. What was your favorite ad this year? The top ad on USA Today's ad meter was the Budweiser Puppy Love ad. That was the ad that showed the relationship between a Clydesdale and a 10 week old puppy. It really knocked it out of the park in terms of resonating with consumers. All right, you know, I like that too. Uh, what was a close second and third? What else really scored with people? What else do you have for us? The Doritos ad in which the younger brother hops on the family dog and rides it like a cowboy to lasso a bag of Doritos away from his older brother did very well on USA Today's ad meter. That came in second place. And in third place was a very simple ad that honored the military. That was also a Budweiser ad. And that showed a hometown of a returning military person throwing a parade for him. And I think that stood out because it was just emotional and lots of people know someone who's a veteran or who's currently serving. I agree with you. I think Budweiser was the big winner last night. It, it, you know what I thought was interesting was how they're selling cars as well. We're showing right now the Matrix uh, motif with Kia and also um, Maserati and also I think it was uh, Kia. I mean, how do you think the uh, car dealers did last night? Kia. Yeah, Chrysler with Bob Dylan. It's really, oh, there's so many car ads. It's very hard for a car maker to stand out in the Super Bowl. It's almost like a traffic jam of ads. And what they need to do is really make their brand stand out with that. And I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, there was a great VW ad that featured a little kid who was dressed up like Darth Vader. But sometimes when I talk to people about that ad now, they think it's Toyota. So there's lots of car advertisements in the game. The trick is not only to have a great message, the trick is to have your brand stand out. Yeah, and I didn't think, I didn't think Audi did that when they had the uh, Doberman Chihuahua mix. I, I, I remember the dog, I don't remember the car. Right, exactly, and that's what happens a lot, especially with car ads, because there's so many of them in the game. Okay, let's talk about some losers last night. I'm a man, I don't think uh, David Beckham running around in his underwear is going to spur me to go out and buy <laughs> underwear. What do you think? But I will tell you, almost half of the Super Bowl viewers are women, so they may like watching David Beckham, and they may be buying the underwear for their significant other. So I got the, you. the message to women may be resonating out there. I got you. Other so losers. So, Nad, when you had talked about ads that did. Right. I was about to, yeah, the ad, another ad that did not resonate, Bud Light. So they did an ad, and it simply showed their new bottle that's resealable. There's no storyline, no humor, no emotional engagement. It was just showing their new product. And granted, they'll get that product in front of what will likely be more than 100 million eyeballs, but it's not going to be passed around on social media. It's really not going to be something that people are buzzing about today. Okay, uh, real quickly, how does AdMeter, how was it created and how does it work and what were the trends that you guys saw quickly? Sure, quickly. For 26 years, USA Today has been having people rate the ads in the game. We had them rate from a 0 to a 10, 0 fumble, 10 touchdown. Big trend this year, music. You not only heard music in the background of ads, you also saw lots of big name artists in the commercial. You too. Bob Dylan, One Republic. So that was a very big, big trend this year. Uh, real, uh, real quickly, thumbs up or thumbs down overall for the commercials last night, Laura? You know, I think there's a thumbs up because Puppy Love led the way. Throughout the night on social media, people were tweeting, I can't wait for that ad to air on the game. So I think it built a level of excitement overall. All right, Laura Petrucca, thank you so much for joining us this, today on the Hampton Road Show. Great, thank you.